and welcome back to Panasonic Live at ISE 2017. Our showstoppers really been attracting big crowds all week, so I thought I'd try and get to the bottom of the technology behind that really eye-catching moving projection. I'm joined by Sarah Cox from D3 Technologies and also Andrew Gordon from Blacktrax. Andrew, let's start with Blacktrax if we can. Tell us a little bit, a bit, a little bit about the solution, what it does. Thanks for asking. Uh, you know what, Blacktrax is uh, basically endless in terms of possibilities, but what it does is it's a 3D and 6D spatial tracking system that just shoots out a location of objects and people to different systems. Um, from there, it's able to connect to different systems like our VFFs at D3, um, our friends at AirStage with drones. So everything from sound, media servers to cameras, we kind of just, we're the central nervous system that helps bind these different technologies together. So what do you think the future is for that kind of automation technology? You know what, the future is every day expanding. We're constantly getting new requests from in new industries that we didn't even begin to think of. Um, it's, automation is the future. It's going to get, make things a lot simpler and that leaves the room for different interpretations and it leaves room for more creativity. So we're definitely going to see a lot of expansion and this is going to become second nature to everybody. So it's definitely something to watch. Cool. Thank you. And Sarah, at D3, you're essentially really the processing power behind, behind the big show. Absolutely. So uh, excited to be back for our third year with yeah. Panasonic. And we're taking our traditional um, content management workflow. So we're taking care of all the timeline, all the content. We're actually the mapping tool again that's being used to, to map the content from the projectors onto the 3D stage. Um, this time we're taking it up a notch. So we're also the central technology that's taking all of that 3D data from Black Tracks, mapping it with the content in the 3D simulation, and then we're mapping it out into the real world that you're seeing here. So D3 is really, this time round, playing a much bigger part, central role to all of the technologies delivering this show. Uh, do you get the sense that we're just kind of scratching the surface on what this kind of technology can do? Absolutely. I mean, yet again, this year, Panasonic has been really brave at putting these, these three companies together along with Paint and Light on the content side. And nobody's done that yet between the three of us. So it's um, really on a cutting edge of, of what is available, what will be available in the future. Um, and I hope people get a taste today of what happens when those companies start to work together and, and the possibility of the future of collaboration. Well, thank you. No, thank you for the hard work because it really looks great. It's, it's here. It's on the Panasonic booth. We're in the middle of Hall 1, stand H20, and the showstopper starts on the hour every hour. It's really worth the watch. Thank you.